Well, the last is yet to be heard of the intrigues amongst uh, the House of Representatives members following the decision by Senator Abdullahi Adamu led National Working Committee of the All Progressive Congress, APC, to tarry a while on the zoning arrangements of the leadership of the National Assembly, in spite of the pledge by leading aspirants uh, for the speakership position of the House of Representatives to abide by the APC zoning arrangement, there are fears of a revolt by some of those angling for the exalted seat in the event that the party's decision doesn't favor them eventually. But as we speak right now, the um, APC has adopted um, Akpabio, former governor Goswil Akpabio and Abbas as Senate president and uh, Abbas is speaker of the House of Representatives. Joining us to discuss this uh, is Biodu Shoumi, a veteran journalist and a political analyst. Thank you so much, Mr. Shoumi, for joining us. Thank you for having me. Great. Uh, looking at um, this press statement from the National, uh, from the APC, um, saying that they have ratified the zoning formula, uh, which was proposed by uh, the president-elect uh, uh, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, ignoring protests by aggrieved members of the party on the lopsidedness of this arrangement. I just read out the fact that there are people who still may not necessarily agree with the pick of the president-elect. Those there are also those who are arguing that this should be subject to an election as opposed to uh, a selection by the president elect. What are your thoughts? Yes, um, it is a fact that senators are expected to elect their own leadership, be it the Senate president or deputy Senate president. Um, that's uh, a fact, but no doubt. Um, the senators came on the platform of the political party. And as is the practice in Nigeria till today, um, you have the party playing some influence in that process. The reason for that is, one, to ensure balancing, to ensure that they got the right balancing right in, in the leadership mix-up in the country. Otherwise, you may have a situation where the president is from a particular section of the country, the Senate president from a particular section, and the speaker from a particular section. The party plays a role in stabilizing the situation in a way that it will not be possible, you know, to have, um, not to have um, um, cross, across the country representation, you know, representation across the different zones within the country. If that, on its own, is expected to douse the um, shouts of marginalization. But unfortunately, it has not uh, resolved that. You still have one or two zones dissatisfied who have not been able to be, you know, in one of the four top leadership positions since we have six zones, you know, still complaining. But it is still a better situation than leaving it to chance. If you leave it to chance and the party uh, fails to influence the conduct of the senators in terms of the leadership zoning arrangements, what would happen is you would end up where with the, the region of the, the region with the, the majority of the senators may easily, you know, choose one of theirs to, to head uh, the, the, the Senate and head this, the, the, the House of Representatives at the same time. So we'll find ourselves in a situation where everybody will be complaining. Those who are in the minority in the other regions, say for instance, the southern region, will now keep complaining of marginalization and that the North is dominating power. So in the spirit of ensuring Zona, a zoning arrangement to ensure inclusivity in the uh, political leadership representation, uh, then uh, the, the intervention of the APC is uh, well encouraged. But that may not necessarily end um, the, the issue because the bottom line is the senators hold the aces at the end of the day. They are the one they can choose not to follow the party guidelines or to follow the zoning arrangement. But well, it's most unlikely that um, anybody would try and do anything that would um, disturb the balance uh, in the country currently. And that is why Ganduje came out to say that, look, in the Northwest, they are supporting that arena. Um, and if you look at the configuration, it will not be difficult for anybody to stay up. It will not be. Because if all senators in the Northwest and Southwest, you know, support that arena, you are talking of about 50% of the um, uh, almost 50% of the senators already. So um, I think that zoning arrangement will hold in respect of Senate. 
The House of Representatives may be a bit dicey in the sense that um, the larger constituency, the APC has a smaller margin um, uh, there to, to play with. So uh, now it depends on what the members of the House of Reps choose to do, whether to follow the party line or to dissent. That remains to be said about the because in all of this um, there were certain people who were frontline runners um, I'm talking about Audrey or Carlo and the likes um, I, I think Austin um, I've, I've forgotten not not Austin Chidoka I can't remember his surname uh, these are some of the people who were you know also in the running but let's talk mostly about the southeast um, with them seemingly being cut out of this deal being that many people actually thought that since they were eyeing that city would go in their direction does this not leave them feeling once again like the unfortunate cousins? And, and how do you deal with that? Don't forget, in the elections, they seem to have lost generally. And now again, um, eyeing that revert seat, it seems that they have also been left out in the cold. Yeah, but when, when, when you go into history, no zone has ever held the Senate presidency more than the Southeast. Just go back into history. They've held it more than anybody, any other zones in the country. And therefore, they cannot perpetually hold on to that. And we live in a country where we have six zones. No matter how you distribute the top um, four leadership positions, two zones would end up getting deputy uh, positions. And that's exactly what has happened in this case. In the case of um, um, the, the APC zoning system, you cannot blame the party. Um, for that, because uh, there has to be some some measures to, to, to consider. You must have some issues to consider in making up your mind. Um, pol political parties think about votes. They don't think about all the moral issues that you and I think about. What they think about is votes. Where do I get most from? Then how do I reward them? So, and that is part of how votes are distributed. It's based on the reward system. And given that, if you look at where APC performed uh, got less votes, it's actually in the southeast. There is no way they would leave northwest or south south that gave them more votes than uh, and then hand over the 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 prize, you know, to uh, southeast. That to me uh, will not work when it comes to the party zoning system in the Senate. That's a different case. The senators may choose to do something different. Like I understand that some of our friends, including Ojikalu, are already mobilizing to see whether they can do something different in the Senate. But when it comes to political party taking a decision, they would rather take it on that very basis. What is in it? What did you bring to the table? As far as they are concerned, South South brought more to the table, and that's why they're being rewarded with the Senate presidency. And I'm sure they're also conscious of the fact that they need to douse the tension around Muslim, Muslim ticket and probably why they would rather prefer a piston. Otherwise, the vote from, um, uh, from the Northwest far outstrips the, the vote from uh, South, South, South and Southeast um, together. But there's no way how they can again push another candidate who is a Muslim. Um, it will only continue to play into the anxiety and fears of those who think that religious, uh, religion has a role to play in politics. That's not my view, but some people think that way. So the fact of the matter is um, we are bound to have this kind of situation if it comes to party zoning. But when it comes to senators electing, whether they will follow the guidelines of the party or the directive of the party is a different thing. So it's up to those senators from the southeast, including my very good friend and brother, uh, Oji Kalu, you know, but you will now reach out to other senators and see whether they could change the equation. These choice uh, picks by the APC uh, National. Um, let's start with Goswell Akwabio, a two-term governor, Akwabio State, been a senator, um, did not necessarily run for the ticket of the Senate. Let's not forget there's been a drama that surrounded that particular ticket. He was running for presidency, and then all of a sudden, is back um, trying to claim his ticket. There's so many questions around that. And now here he is. He's also had so many court cases. The EFCC had invited him 
sometime this year on cases of corruption. Um, and so in 2021 to several other years, you know, he's been invited by the EFCC on issues of corruption. Um, let's examine how well he would do as a Senate president. Yes, um, when you look at um, Gospel Akpabi, people have different views about him, and people see him in different ways. Um, honestly speaking, I can say one thing for sure, is that there have been so many issues raised around the money, one thing or the other, you know, more about Akpabi. But up till now, there's no conviction. He has not been convicted. And the, the law in Nigeria clearly states, except you are convicted, uh, there's little or nothing anybody can do. That's when you can be excluded from public office. And that con conviction must be within the currency of 10 years. Um, otherwise, um, um, it's, it's, it's deemed, you, you are deemed uh, not affected by it once it's over 10 years. But Abi has not been convicted. That makes it difficult. Are you there, Mr. Shomi? Can you hear me? Issues around news, uh, um, what people are saying in the media and all that about Akpabi. Uh, the most important thing is CFCC has also not been able to convict him. So for now, the Lord deems him innocent until proven guilty. But when it comes to his performance, will the EFCC trial affect him, um, his performance as Senate President? That's a different thing completely. Will it be morally upright, you know, for somebody undergoing EFCC trial, you know, to uh, be the Senate president? That's another thing completely. Here. So, what so far is yet to be the Senate president, and so far is yet to be convicted. Mm -hmm. So, his performance may or may not be affected. We don't know. Time will tell. Let's talk about Jibrin, um, Baral Jibrin. Um, the issue of budget padding in uh, 2021. His name was obviously floated in that. But let's look at his personality and him being the next speaker of the House of Representatives if, if of course, a consensus is reached by the members on the floor of the House of uh, Representatives. Yes. Um, he's no doubt a very popular politician. Um, and um, in my view, I think he's a, a, a protege of um, the... Of um, of um, L5, he has very good relationship with Yanduji and some um, call leaders in the northwest and um, both across the party, both within the APC and within the PDP. Um, he's been in the place for some time now. Um, it, it, not much is known about his leadership qualities in terms of how to manage a complex, you know, pot of gold like um, as of Rex because he's more complex than the Senate. Uh, you have a situation where it needs to be able to pull not only people within the APC, it needs to reach out to some people in PDP, possibly from Liba State and um, some other um, states in the Southeast, with the view to be able to get the desired number of votes required to move in. It's quite very popular amongst the um, the, 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 whole, the returning uh, as of reps members. With the new uh, as of members, I don't know. So a lot depends on his ability to reach out on his leadership skill and his effort you know, to reach out to those new uh, incoming members with a view to keep them on board to adhere to this party zoning system. Otherwise, they may be in for surprises because the opposition are working day and night to ensure that they could at least control the, the as of -Rep perhaps, you know, produce the speaker. So uh, I think he ha has more work to do than um, Akpabi. I, 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 I'm so sorry. Um, Jibrin is the Deputy Senate President. Abbas, obviously, is the one who is fronted for sorry, the speaker. Sorry, speaking about the speaker. Yes, yes, yes. Um, I, 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 miss, I mistook, uh, I said House of Reps. Um, so Abbas is the Deputy Senate President, obviously, but then we, um, is the uh, Speaker. Jibrin is the Deputy Senate President who's been picked to pair Jibrin, with, yes, yes um, mm. Senator Akpabio. But in the House of Representatives, we have, um, we have, of course, um, 
uh, Ben Kalu as the deputy speaker and Tajuddin Abbas. Yes. 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 Uh, so obviously, yes. the Southeast has some, some leverage in the House of Representatives. Well, that's a plus for them. Yes, but uh, you know what many, um, what many commentators from Southeast are not happy about is the fact that the, the post is a, a junior one, deputy uh, speaker. That's what they're really complaining about. Um, I think the, the, their preference is to have the Senate president. Uh, that may not happen because of um, the zoning arrangement within the APC and the strength of the majority that APC controls in Senate. In terms of us of reps, the story may be different. It depends on how um, what they do and how they work it out. But the mathematics also may not necessarily favor them, given the fact that you may have the north central, northwest, southwest, you know, and possibly not his stimulus. So they may not necessarily get the uh, figures that they require uh, to, 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 to smoother the APC zoning system. Uh, but the fact of the matter is, no matter how you do it, one zone, two zones will get deputy posts. No matter how you do it, uh, the, the, that's the fact of the matter. We have six zones, and then you have four uh, uh, top leadership positions and two deputies. Mm. So no matter how we do it, um, that's where we end up happening. It's quite unfortunate that Southeast got it this time around, and uh, many people may not be happy about that. Mm. Well, I want to say thank you. Biado Shomi is a veteran journalist and a political analyst. Thank you so much for having this conversation with us. We appreciate it. Thank you very much. All thank right. you for having me. And that's Plus Politics tonight. Don't forget to tune in tomorrow as we continue to talk for development. I am Mary Anna Do have a pleasant night rest.